Hey guys, it's Jess. And today I wanna to talk about the difference between a web developer and a web designer. I know this can get pretty confusing for some people at the beginning of their coding journey. Questions like, do I have to be a designer to be a developer or do I have to be a developer to be a designer may arise. So I'm hoping that this video will give you a little bit more clarity and help you on your path to deciding what path is best for you. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so that it helps the algorithm help us help others. I feel like we should start with the role of a web designer because this may make it easier to understand the roles of a web developer. Let's use my favorite store for example, Target. When you go to Target's website, you may notice some things like the main color being red, the easy navigation to different categories, storing things in your cart, and just the overall placement of things in general. All of these factors were strategic and created by a web designer. When a designer creates the layout and the visual aspects of a website, they're thinking about the experience that they would like the user to have while visiting the website. For example, there is psychology and color, so the color choice is very deliberate, and the placement of things on the website determine how easy it is for the user to navigate on the page. Another name you may have heard for this is UX UI or user experience and user interface. So when you think web designer, think visual, think feeling, think everything that the user will actually see on the website. Now, if you're thinking of going the web designer route, you might want to get familiar with some tools like Sketch, Figma, and Adobe XD. And I've linked the article down below that I thought was really good and it gives you a list of tools that are really helpful for your work. Now that we know what a web designer does, let's talk web developer. So we have our designs and our visual needs are laid out for us. Now it's time for the web developer to bring the designer's ideas to life. Now there's a website that I absolutely love called awards.com. And on this website, you can get tons of inspiration and ideas and just see all the things that you can do as a web developer. A web developer is the one who creates the code for the designs that the designer came up with. This is usually done with languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other programming languages like Python. Now these languages are used to create any animations you may see on screen, the font, the font size, font color, and so much more. A web developer would also be responsible for the responsiveness of the website. So how does this website look on a desktop? and scale down all the way to something as small as say an iPhone 12 mini. So think of a web developer as the battery to a machine. It makes the machine work. If you're leaning towards the developer side of things, you'll wanna get familiar with tools like VS Code, Atom, and other IDEs. And an IDE is an integrated development environment, so this is where you'll write your code. You may be someone who's interested in both design and development and wondering if you can do both, and the answer is absolutely yes. This is what companies call a coding unicorn because not everybody who designs develops and not everybody who develops is a designer. Now I do think it is important for both sides to have an understanding of each other. So if you're a designer, maybe you know a little bit about code and if you're a developer, you may know a little bit about design and how that works because having an understanding of how both work will help you when you start working in teams, when you get your job, and this is how most companies are structured. But being a coding unicorn may also bring forth more job opportunities and better pay if you're into that. I myself enjoy both but find my ultimate love on the development side because while I love color and creativity I'm not the best at coming up with beautiful aesthetic design so maybe dabble in both maybe dabble in design and development and figure out which one is best for you or choose both so are you a web developer or a designer or a coding unicorn who does both leave a comment below and let me know which one speaks to you the most hopefully this video helps you understand the difference between a web designer and a web developer a little bit more and if you like this video please please be sure to like it so the algorithm knows and we can help more people. If you're interested in more videos about tech, product reviews, and productivity, please consider subscribing as I do post on this channel three to four times a week. As always, thank you so much for getting to this point in the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.